Have you ever looked at a $1 American bill? Really looked at it? You may start noticing some interesting details. Latin, animals, numbers. Today, we're going to look into what it all means. Let's have a quick explanation of the word dollar itself. The word dollar is derived from this word, dollar, a series of large silver coins minted in Germany in the 1500s. The Continental Congress chose the term dollar to designate the money of the United States in 1785, mainly because it was already widely known as the dollar. Let's continue on to the actual design of the dollar bill. For today's $1 bill, much planning and consideration went into the design. Images with symbolic meaning and thought-out American mottos appear across the bill. The front of the bill is mostly boring, but important nonetheless. So I wanted to include the explanations. Starting off with the capital letter inside the circle, this is the reserve seal. Beneath the serial number, we have the signature of the treasurer of the United States. In the center of the one, this is the seal of the US Department of Treasury. Beneath the one, we have the signature of the secretary of the treasury. Beneath the Federal Reserve seal is the dollar bill serial number. The note number position, this is the number letter combination which tells you which position on the plate the note was printed. This is the serial number, the exact same one just on the other side of the bill. This is the series date or series year presented as a year and occasionally with a letter suffix. This is the plate serial number. This appears twice on the bill itself and tells you which plate the bill was printed from. There are many cool features on the bill. One of the most famous Easter eggs on the bill is the small detail you see on the top right corner of the front of the bill. On the front of the bill, there is a rumored hidden creature next to Washington. So pay particular attention to the huge number one in the bill's upper right corner. Hidden behind the leaf, this detail is widely argued to be whether an owl or a spider. Considering the first option, which would be a spider, let's take a look at what it could symbolize. The first argument is that a spider was placed there, which would provide a creator to all of the webs across the front and the back of the bill. If you look around, the bill is covered in webs. Despite its tiny size, the spider is a powerful being that stands for imagination, independence, tolerance, and competence. The next theory for this creature is an owl. An owl symbolizes inner wisdom, change, transformation, intuitive development, good luck, and self-actualization. Let me know which one you see. I would also like to mention the possibility of this being a phenomenon of pareidolia. This is in fact what I named my channel after. The next interesting detail about the dollar bill is the number 13. The number 13 is a huge theme you'll notice repeatedly on the $1 American bill. You see it in the following places. The eagle holds 13 arrows, 13 olive branch leaves, and 13 olive fruits. There are 13 stars above the eagle, 13 bars on the shield, 13 steps on the pyramid, Latin mottos and dates have 13 letters. There are 26 letters in these two symbols, and I thought I would include this since 26 divided by 2 is 13. If we combine symbolic elements and mottos, we have 13 of them on the two sides of the Great Seal. There were 10 committee members and three consultants that all together helped design the Great Seal. I believe I count, which I assume are olives, on the outer leaves of the back of the bill. And I guess I'll also throw in the fact that the design's final proposal for the Great Seal accepted by Congress was submitted on July 13, 1782 by Charles Thompson.
I wanted to get into conspiracy theories about this dollar bill because it's been around for so long. There have been many theories that have come to light. With the bill's complex design, over the years, people have found reason to conspire about its design. So here are a few that people talk about. As mentioned earlier, the little creature sitting in the corner of the bill. Like mentioned, some people believe it's a spider and others believe it's an owl. The theory is that the owl was deliberately placed there as it has ties with the Freemasonry. This is due to the owl statue found at Bohemian Grove. So, the Bohemian Club is an elite invitation-only social club founded in 1872 by a group of male artists, writers, actors, lawyers, journalists. Since its founding, the club has expanded to include politicians and affluent businessmen. So very select elite individuals are a part of this club. And being a part of this club is going to this retreat every single year. On the place of their retreat, there are symbolism of owls. So people believe that the owl was placed there to represent this club. Notable members of this club include Richard Nixon and Ronald Reagan. It's worth mentioning also that the club motto is weaving spiders come not here. This is a line taken from Act 2, Scene 2 of Shakespeare's A Midnight Summer Dream. The club motto implies that the outside concerns and business deals are to be left outside. Another conspiracy theory worth mentioning is the Illuminati. The Illuminati, a very famous conspiracy theory topic, has found its way to the dollar bill. The first theory lies in the repeating number 13. People say that this is attributed to the 13 Illuminati bloodlines. There are 13 families which are said to run the world behind the scenes. The families include very famous names like Astor, Bundy, DuPont, Freeman, Kennedy, Rockefeller, Rothschild. All of these families are said to basically rule the world. And the amount of times number 13 is repeated on the bill is basically attributed to them. That's what people believe. People also like to mention the floating eye, the eye of providence above the pyramid on the back of the bill. People believe that this is a sign or a symbol for the Illuminati. Furthermore, it's worth mentioning that the saying New World Order has often been associated with the Illuminati and surely enough, it finds its way on the back of the bill. I want to get into the symbolism on this dollar bill because there is just so much of it. So I want to find our way to the back of the bill. In the middle, we see the quote, in God we trust. This is the official U.S. motto since 1956, denoting that the political and economic prosperity of the nation is in God's hands. I want to start with the left circle. So starting off with Inuit Coptus, which is Latin for, he favors our undertaking. Inuit Coptus is the Latin motto suggested in 1782 by Charles Thompson. This is placed on the bill to allude to the many signal interpositions of providence in the favor of the American cause. Looking down now, you see a pyramid. The pyramid was originally suggested by William Barton, a consultant of the third Great Seal Committee. There were, I believe, three committees to make the Great Seal and then a final committee to uh, basically determine the final design. William Barton was on the third committee. He suggested a pyramid of 13 steps. The pyramid is to represent strength and durability of the United States, but notice it is unfinished. This is to suggest room to build, representing that the United States still has room to build itself. Now, looking at the base of the pyramid, you see Roman numerals. Charles Thompson explains how the date underneath is that of the Declaration of Independence. This date, which is for your information 1776, is the date that commences a new era of the United States. It's also paired with the motto, 
Novus Ordo Seclorum. Under the date, Charles Thompson suggested this Latin motto. He explains that the motto represents the new American era commencing in 1776. This phrase means a new order of the ages. The founders seriously considered 1776 the beginning of a new era, placing it on the Great Seal, which now appears on the $1 bill. Looking back up to the eye, as mentioned earlier, it is often confused with the Illuminati. This eye is instead the eye of providence. It was undoubtedly influenced by the Declaration of Independence. The Declaration writes, and for support of this declaration with a firm reliance on the protection of divine providence, we mutually pledge to our other lives, our fortunes, and our sacred honor. The eye of providence is a figure that depicts an eye, often enclosed in a triangle which is surrounded by light or glory, meant to represent divine providence, whereby the eye of God watches over humanity. Now looking over to the other side of the Great Seal, which is the right circle. This face depicts an eagle. In the beak of the eagle is the saying, E pluribus unum. This was the past US motto before In God We Trust. E pluribus unum means out of many, one. The meaning of this phrase originates from the concept that out of the union, of the 13 original colonies emerges one single nation. When they were making the Great Seal, there were 13 states, and this motto means that all 13 states come together as one and create the United States. Looking down to the bottom of the eagles, in the eagle's right talon, the eagle holds an olive branch with 13 berries and 13 leaves. The olive branch, suggested by the second committee creating the Great Seal, to represent peace and liberty. It is the symbol of the power in peace. In the eagle's left talon, the eagle holds the power of war, which is symbolized by a bundle of 13 arrows. The eagle itself symbolizes strength and independence, and the United States' desire for peace, but will be posed and ready for war, if and when necessary. The 13 arrows are tightly aligned, a symbol of strength in unity. The olive branch and arrows together denote the power of peace and war. The eagle is intentionally facing towards the olive branch rather than the arrows, signifying the desire for peace over war. Interestingly, in times of war, the eagle has been faced the other way and turned towards the arrows rather than the olives. On the eagle itself, you see a shield. The top of the shield holds 13 horizontal stripes, representing each of the 13 independent states of America. Then, the six horizontal grouped stripes, which originally represent the six countries from which these states have been populated. England, Scotland, Ireland, France, Holland, and Germany. The shield itself symbolizes, and I quote, Born on the breast of an American eagle without any other supporters to denote that the United States of America ought to rely on their own virtue. And to quickly mention, the eagle displayed is a symbol of supreme power and authority and it signifies the Congress. Now looking up above the eagle's head, the constellation of 13 stars with rays of light breaking through the cloud. This once again depicts the 13 original U.S. states coming together as one. Not fully shown on the dollar bill, but it is supposedly that glory breaks through the clouds surrounding the constellation of 13 stars, symbolizing once again the light of providence, that God is watching over the 13 states. The American Bill is full of excellent symbolism and I had a wonderful time researching the meaning of it all. I have so much more coming to this channel so please stick around. 
Thank you everyone. This is Paradolia, all things business, money, and economics.